What's up guys, it's Sunny back again with another Tekken Mobile video. Today what we're going to check out is the Rodeo 2 Star boss battle. I'm kind of going to give you, I guess, tips or pointers that I use in order to beat it. 100,000 damage that you have to do on the 2 Star Rodeo using only 2 Star characters might seem like a lot, but um, it's really not. It's really actually pretty easy and I'm going to show you just with one character how much damage you can actually do. Um, doesn't take too long. I beat it in just an, like an hour, maybe hour and a half, um, hundred thousand damage. But if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. But let's get into uh, this actual boss battle. So the character I'm going to use again is just a regular level one um, Earth character, Shaheen. Really, again, not sure who this is. I don't know when he came into Tekken, but I'm not familiar with him. But I do have him. Two star, that is the guy I'm going to use. Like I said, he is earth, so he does have the elemental bonus damage. So basically what I do in the match is um, whenever I have Waza cards, I get really close, pressure the opponent, and when I do not have a Waza card, basically whip punish. Like start off the match doing a jump in attack. Quick combo, have the green Waza, uh, green Waza cards ready. Keep pressure, keep pressure. If you have the Waza cards ready, remember the uh, red cards pop up the opponent, let you get a follow combo. The orange cards are the ones that stun the opponent, let you do a uh, follow up attack right after that. And then the green one is just a straight uh, attack. So keep pressure while you have the Waza cards. And then once you run out, just back up a little bit and then just straight with punish. Wait for him, kind of like bait him in, wait till he attacks. And then once he attacks, then go in for your whip punish. It's pretty simple to do. Um, just takes a couple, you know, a little bit of, I guess, being used to the timing of the opponent, the range, you know, how far back you have to go. You only have, what, like n not too many seconds, like 90 seconds or something. I can't remember how much it just started, but... Uh, you don't want to die, that way you don't have to use any of your health. First round is up. 2500 damage that I did and only received 60 damage. So pretty simple. Second battle. Going up the same exact thing, you know. Wait for him to hit or with punish. Jump in with the attack. Pop up the opponent. Go in there with a combo. Got the uh, green cards, the orange cards. They're all um, ready. So go in. Put some pressure on them. Once you run out, back up again with punish and just basically repeat this process over and over again. Pretty simple. Um, there is a four star one that I'm doing the same technique on. The only difference is, is that uh, on the four star boss battle, man, he hits you once and your whole character is dead. Because I do not have three star characters or any four star characters. So I have to do that whole, uh, whole one with... Um, I hit that four star boss battle the same exact way except uh it's gonna take a little bit longer just because my damage output isn't very high but i'll do another video on that doing the rewards and stuff three million damage is a lot but anyway hundred thousand again for this one like you see going back and forth hit over a 50 chain let me hey anyone in the count or anyone um has anybody hit the 99 chain yet the achievement for that I've been trying to uh, get that. I think the closest I've ever got was 70. But after that one, over 3,000 damage and didn't get hit one single time. Third matchup. Uh, you can use your, you know, you can use your health on these, um, but I typically don't just because you can only carry so many in your inventory. So I typically just do this strategy that way when you run out of time you can just refresh with the same character. I mean I'm on my third match now with this guy and uh, that right there, that, that took about half of my damage. Uh, he caught me just go, trying to dive in there for the whiff punish but he used one of his Waza cards on me. But now that mine's active, again stay close, hit him with the little pop up attack, green attacks ready gonna go in for one of those keep the pressure up when you have those waza cards keep them in the corner um, right as he starts to get up or stand up that's when you want to use it or that's when I use it and then back keep back dashing back dashing until he throws one of his attacks and then uh, just whip punish for a jump in attack or just the basic you know tap tap combo 
Um, 10 seconds left on this one up to a 40 chain. Most of the time I can get, you know, between 40, 50, sometimes 60 chains going. Still haven't been able to get that 99 chain though. That's pretty tough with as, with as little time as you got. Almost 3,000 damage. He did hit me that one time though, so uh, lost over 200 on that one. He doesn't have very much left now. Um, should be able to finish him this round, I think. At least I'm going to try. Hit him with a couple greens. I still haven't, I guess, been able to completely figure out what those little diamonds next to the Waza cards are. If it gives you more, I guess, damage or if it gives you more, better, or better a chance to uh, connect with your actual attack or whatever it is. I'm not really sure, but um, I assume that they're better anyway. He should be just about dead now. Couple more hits. Come on now, die. Pop him up. Okay, there we go. Finally, he is dead. 100,000. I did the last, uh, what, four or five battles with this one guy. Only got hit like one time. Did over 12,000, 13,000 damage with this one guy. Pretty simple. Like I said, these are the last of the rewards, I guess, since I started uh, doing this. Did them all. Only took me about an hour and a half, I guess. Maybe an hour to do all 100,000. Got the star fragments. Got the little uh, chocolate tokens or the patriot tokens. Um, it does give you a premium pack. We're going to open that in just a second. And then the very last reward at 100,000 was uh, the three star fragment. So pick that up. We're going to check out the premium pack. See if I get anything good. I have actually picked up, um, haven't picked up any three star characters or four star characters, but um, have gotten quite a bit of uh, um, quite a bit of pieces for them anyway, and one for a four star actual character. So, but they're hard to get. I mean, they're definitely hard to unlock. Definitely takes some grinding. I already have that guy. Don't have Bruce yet though, so uh, got another one for Bruce. A fragment, I guess. So have two out of ten for the brute. But anyway, that's gonna do it for the video. Hope it helped you. Um, like I said, if you have any other tips for me, you know, I'm definitely open to hearing what uh, everybody has to say. Definitely enjoying the game. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I will see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.